Hey guys, so what's up? We are starting out with the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. I'm taking the shade Aquarius and popping that in the crease. Then taking Scorpio and using that to deepen up the outer V. Um, I will be actually in the frame in a second. There we go. Anyways, I'm just blending that out with a fluffy tapered brush. And I am taking it down towards the inner corner a little bit, but I'm trying to keep it mostly in the crease and not so much on the lid. And then I'm taking that fluffy brush again just to smooth everything over and blend it out. I'm taking Pisces now, which is a deeper brownish purple, and I'm popping that in the outer V just to deepen everything up. I'm taking some concealer now on a flat brush, and I'm using that to cut out my crease. I like to use a bigger brush like this at first, just to kind of get the general shape. Um, and then I'll go in with the smaller brush later. But I'm just cutting that crease and then blending out the edges. All right, now I'm taking a small angled brush and using some Scorpio to define the outside of the crease a little bit more and then blending it out with a little pencil brush, one of my favorite tricks. Next, I'm going in with this e.l.f. liquid shadow. It's a rose gold color and I'm placing that over where I placed the concealer and using it to define the crease even more. And then I'm just blending out the edge um, with a flat brush here. Then I'm taking some Naked Cosmetics pigment. It's just a nice sparkly loose pigment and I'm placing that over top of the liquid shadow. And I'm just blending out the edge with that fluffy tapered brush. I'm also going back into Pisces and deepening up the um, outer V just a little bit more. And then I'm taking some Physicians Formula Eye Booster and I'm just creating a basic wing shape here. Next I'm taking a makeup wipe and just cleaning up the edge here. I'm just giving my lashes a curl and then I'm going to pop on some of the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. Next, I'm taking these Kiss Lash Coutures and I just applied them off camera. I'm taking some marula oil now and I'm putting that under my eyes um, just to hydrate them and also get rid of any um, like lash glue or pigment or anything that got down there. I'm taking this uh, green color correcting stick from Essence and I'm placing that on my cheeks just to um, cancel out some of the redness. I'm not sure how I feel about this product yet or if it actually works, but uh, we're doing the most today, so. Put that on. Green does cancel out redness, but I just not sure if this product is as effective. But anyways, I'm going in with the um, Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. Um, it's just a really nice emollient kind of kind of concealer, but it's got a bit of a peachy tint to it, which um, helps to cancel out any blueness under the eyes. And I'm just taking a little Real Techniques sponge um, to blend that out. Okay, now for foundation, I'm taking a mix of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus and the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I'm just mixing that on the back of my hand with a flat brush and then putting it all over my face. Um, I really like the finish of the It Cosmetics CC Cream, but the shade range is completely awful. I think they do, they did expand it recently, um, but this was the lightest shade when I got it. 
Um, and the Wet n Wild Photo Focus has a um, much better shade range, but I just, I really don't like the finish of it. So I like to mix it in with foundations that are a little bit more emollient, but uh, maybe a bit too dark for me. I'm just using an e.l.f. blending brush to pat this into the skin. Now I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer um, and I'm just popping this under my eyes. I love this concealer, it's got such a great finish. The coverage is pretty good, it's not the best ever, um, but I like the finish so much that I don't care. And over a corrector, it looks really, really nice. Um, and I'm just taking this Pixi um, foundation brush to blend it out. Um, I like it for concealer, because it's a little bit smaller, but it's nice and dense. And then I am going in with that Real Techniques sponge again, just to smooth everything out. Taking that same concealer, but uh, in the white shade, and I'm putting it um, under under where my contour will be, just to um, further get a good contrast, I guess. And then um, just on the high points of my face to create a nice matte highlight. Now I'm using the white shade on its own to highlight. Um, I also put a little bit just in the darkest parts of my circles. Um, but if you are deeper than me and not a pasty ghost, then um, you can either use the white shade to mix in with your existing concealer, or you can just use one that's one to two shades lighter than your natural skin tone um, to highlight your face. All right, next I'm using the NYX Wonder Stick. It's just a contour and highlight stick. Um, I never use the highlight side, but I like this contour because it's a little bit warmer, um, so it kind of works as a bronzer as well, but it's not so warm that it's gonna make you look orange. And I'm just um, putting this in the hollows of the cheeks and on the forehead right up into the hairline. And then I'm also doing it on the nose. So I'm using that highlight we placed earlier as a guide and just bringing it down the sides of the nose. Everyone's nose is different, um, but this is how I like to do mine. I'm also creating a, um, a more defined tip and I'm shortening it a bit by contouring the end of my nose. Then I'm just blending this out. I'm using the e.l.f. blending brush, but I've pinched it a little to um, you know, help it be more controlled. And then I'm blending it by dragging it upward on the cheekbones and then dragging it towards the hairline for the forehead contour. And I'm using that little sponge just to blend out the nose contour. It's got a tiny little flat side, which is fantastic for blending out nose contour because um, it really helps you keep that straight line while still blending it out. Next, I'm taking some Kat Von D Locket Translucent Setting Powder and I'm gonna use that to set my face. I'm taking a tapered fluffy brush first and putting that under the eyes and around the nose in all the places that I normally crease or that my foundation usually rubs off. And 
And then I am taking my Real Techniques sponge. This is the big one now, and I'm using that to just lightly set the rest of my face. Next, I'm going in with this e.l.f. Um, it's actually a brow duo. It's got a wax and a brow powder, but this powder is actually a really great color if you have fair skin. It's a very cool tone contour, um, which I like to add when I want a really defined look in addition to that NYX stick since it's a little bit warm. Um, and then I'm going in with some butter bronzer to undo that contour. No, I'm just kidding. But this is just to help blend everything out and just kind of warm up the face as a whole. And then I am doing a little bit of baking um, with that same powder underneath the contour, bronzer, all that jazz, just to give it a more defined look and clean it up. And then I'm taking that brow powder again and just doing a little bit of contour um, under my jawline, just hide that double chin, and then a little bit of blonde, uh, why can't I say words? A little bit of bronzer just to blend everything out. Then I'm now going into the lower lash line. I'm taking Scorpio and just hugging that close to the lower lash line on the tapered blending brush. And I am bringing it up to meet the rest of the shadow. Now, if you want to make this look a little bit more uh, wearable, I guess, than I did, I would suggest just stopping here or not bringing it up to meet the other shadow, just doing a little bit under the lower lash line. But, you know, I had to be extra and go all out. Um, so this is what I did. I'm using that pencil brush just to blend out that harsh, harsh line there. It's a little bit tricky if you use a makeup wipe to clean it up to get the lower lash line shadow to blend back in with it because it creates such a harsh line. And then I am taking a pencil brush with a little bit of Pisces on it, and I'm hugging that really close to the lower lash line and along that wing to create more, uh, more depth. And then I'm taking that tapered blending brush again just to blend everything out. And then I did go a little bit more ham on this side. As you can see, I'm just putting it all over my face, essentially. Um, but it's the same technique. I just, I blew it out a little bit further. So I did have to go back to the other side and, um, you know, make it even, um, but I'm doing the same thing that I did on the other side. For this one, I am taking a little bit of that powder and putting it on the edge where I actually want the shadow to be. Um, and this is just to help tone it down a little bit, make it a little bit more blended and seamless with the skin. And then I'm just brushing away that bake. I did have a little bit of trouble getting all the excess powder off because I didn't set that part of my face very well, um, but I did get it off eventually. Next, I'm taking that e.l.f. liquid shadow again and placing it on the inner portion of the lower lash line. And then I'm putting some more of that naked pigment over it. Now I'm taking Starburst and Marshmallow from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And I'm just putting that on the inner corner and it wasn't quite enough sparkle for me so I added some of the pigment as well. Now I'm taking more of that Milk Mascara and popping it on the lower lash line. And then I didn't want to do anything too dark on the waterline because I thought it would close off the eye too much so I just did this NYX Wonder Pencil. Now I'm taking this So Susan blush in the shade Rose Rust. Now some NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Push Up. It's just a nice um, sort of mauve nude color. Next, I'm taking the Buxom Lip Gloss in White Russian. It's just a pretty sheer pinky gloss because I felt like a glossy li uh, lip would work well for this look. Do a little hair flip if you're feeling yourself right about now. And then going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit once again, I'm using the shade Starburst on the tops of the cheekbones, I'm using the blush brush to um, blend that in with the skin further. There's nothing on it, it's just the leftover product. And then highlighting my nose in the same place as we did before, this time with just that shimmery highlight. 
Now I'm just going to touch up the brows a little bit. Obviously I had them on before I started filming, but I'm just using this Catrice brow filler to fluff them up a bit. And then I'm putting on some e.l.f. clear brow gel just to hold them in place. This is always kind of my last step before I set the face. Next, I'm taking some Urban Decay All Nighter and setting my face. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you all again soon.